Hi guys, uh, this is Wissam and I'm reviewing Enki uh, Droid on the tablet. Uh, I got my Samsung Galaxy 10.1 tablet last week. Uh, it's really gorgeous. Uh, it's very thin, very light, even thinner and lighter than the iPad 2. Uh, it has a gorgeous display, 10.1 uh, white screen. It's very fluid, very smooth. You know, I can navigate, get all the widgets. Uh, and uh, Anki is a software that lets you study flashcards in an efficient way. Uh, it is very smart. It actually shows you the cards that you are having a hard time studying more often than the easier ones. So it saves you time uh, and, and improves also your learning curve. Uh, I, have the soft, so this, uh, I have the software Anki installed also on my cell phone. Uh, this is my um, HTC Evo 4G from Sprint. And here I can see all the decks available on the phone. What Anki does uh, is cool because it let me sync um, the decks on my cell phone, uh, on my uh, tablet, as well as um, on the PC. So I can uh, pick up wherever I left, either on the tablet, phone, or handheld. Uh, if I go ahead and hit on Anki, uh, you can get Anki from the market, uh, it's uh, available for free. Uh, I have different decks, so each deck has a certain number of flashcards. Uh, they call them facts. And you can review the flashcards uh, uh, on any device you want. The flashcards come either uh, as shared, so people create uh, shared decks. So I can go ahead and click here and go download deck, share deck and here I get a list of all the available decks online so this is really cool because it saves you time creating a deck of your own so if you are studying Japanese, Chinese, Greek or any other language you can just go ahead and maybe search for whatever you want there is also um, decks for um, biology, um, chemistry, SAT, GRE so you can just search and get all the decks uh, you want to study. So once I hit on the deck, it's going to download. Let me go back. And here I have a list of all the available uh, decks that I can study. So just to show you an example, this is all kanji. Kanjis are the Jap Chinese characters for uh, Japanese. And this shows me uh, the deck information. Here you can see that on the top. I see that I have to review 76 out of 80 uh, because um, I haven't been studying for the past few days. I had other things to do. And here in the middle of the screen, you have um, start reviewing. You can go uh, to statistics to show you how you are learning, um, the time, how much you learn, how much you miss, things like that. And the statistics section is really interesting if you are a researcher uh, or an educator. So basically I'm thinking of using this feature to evaluate students' performance in my radiology course. So I can maybe do some statistical analysis and publish that uh, in a paper. If you hit on the card browser, it shows you all the available um, flashcards for that specific deck. I can hit back. You can also limit how much you learn per day or per session. So I can say like I want to study only for 10 minutes or maybe uh, study only 20 questions at a time, which is the default setting. I can hit back. Uh, so let's start. Let's hit start review. And then I see this uh, Chinese character or kanji. Uh, this is means takai or high. And then I can click show answer and then it asks me different things, so if I am having a hard time understanding what this character is, or if I didn't answer it correctly, I can hit again. If it is hard, I can hit hard, good, or easy. And because uh, I haven't been studying for quite some time, it shows me that, you know, it's going to review this, and like, if, it, if I hit again, it's going to review it very soon. Hard, uh, 17 days, good, 1.8 months and easy 3.6 months. So Kanji has its own algorithm, Anki has its own algorithm for managing time. 
I can head back sorry so let's hit this button and then go to Arabic vocabulary I can hit start review and then I can see this word which means uh, society uh, mujtama I can hit that and then it shows me that as well um, hit back the night mode basically when you hit it um, it switches the background to black so if you are studying at night this makes it easier for you again I can hit show the answer and again I can get different sets of options um, uh, if I go back and hit on the options here I have uh, my account so I can go to my account and basically sync with my account once you register for free you can go to um, download deck personal deck so once you sync you can go ahead and see all the available decks that um, you put online and I can download any deck I want to my tablet I can go ahead and then go to um, preferences and under preferences I have different options um, let me try to zoom in again alright so I have general I can click on general and I can choose the language the startup mode uh, so whether you want to start at the, all the decks available or start immediately at the last used deck um, you can fetch um, media on sync so if you have some um, animations like uh, videos if you have audio pictures stored uh, in the deck it will download uh, uh, the media for you automatically I can go to display and under display I, I have different options like review and full screen show timer show progress bar uh, provide Ruby and notation so if you are studying Japanese for example and you enable this option it will decode the kanji for you and provide them in hiragana uh, so let me hit back you can go to extra so you can show the whiteboard so you can start scribbling or doodling on the screen um, you can allow text selection so you can press and hold on a certain word and it will look it up on the dictionary for you navigation you can enable gestures I enabled um, zooming here and because I put a lot of graphics um, like diagrams or tables as uh, pictures inside the deck or inside a flashcard I want to be able to zoom in to have a better look uh, uh, at that diagram or a graphic so I enable the zooming feature here you can also have a widget displayed on your desktop or on the screen uh, so it can vibrate or blink the light whenever you need to review a certain number of cards um, others you can um, have some uh, options advanced option like improve Arabic display for um, older versions of uh, Android OS so if you have a honeycomb or a CM7 gingerbread you don't need to do that because they have Arabic support enabled by default if you have Hebrew you want to enforce right to left you can check that option um, the default font so you can determine what font you want to use um, right now we have only the system font so you have a large number of options uh, it's really intuitive it's very nice to um, use you know right now I'm using it to study for my boards exam and uh, you know uh, it is really better than carrying a dozen flashcards all over the place with you here you have a progress bar showing you um, all the available or the do cards that I need to review for different uh, sections let me start to hit on statistics so I can hit on do I can say for like one month and it will calculate the statistics for me so it can show me young cards, mature cards or failed cards the young cards, the cards I, I, I reviewed the mature cards, these are the cards that are due and the failed cards, the cards I failed um, when I tried to answer them so Anki is available for free uh, you can go ahead and download it on your um, PC or Mac 
you can create a deck on your own again it supports uh, media files as well let me show you Full Metal Alchemist this is uh, one of the Japanese anime and I created this uh, on my phone so you'll see the image is smaller in size but when you hit on and as you can see I have audio I have a picture and a Japanese uh, text basically uh, I use the software to load an anime and then plug in the Japanese subtitles the English subtitles and it figures out the starting time and end of the Japanese subtitle takes the text takes the audio take a screenshot and then the English text as well and create uh, a deck for me automatically for the entire anime episode if I hit the playback button again so no one should be doing that or no one must commit this act so I know this one I can hit easy um, hit again easy so nanimunai hanakara something again so it's really a, a cool way to study any subject whether a language or um, uh, an exam and again you can share the deck with uh, your friends uh, uh, feel free to go ahead and download the software if you like it come to the forums Anki uh, Droid forums on Google groups um, share with us your experience uh, and if you have any feedback or a problem with the software please talk to the developer on the forums they are very helpful and very nice people um, uh, well that was all um, see you in the next video